Let's do the chart reading of letter M. M for man. M for man. M for mango. Children, what is mango? Mango is a fruit which is yellow in color. Mango is yellow in color. M for mango. M for monkey. Monkey is a very clever animal and he can easily run and jump through the trees. M for moon. The moon shines very bright in the sky at night. Moon shines very bright in the sky at night. M for man. M for mango. M for monkey. M for moon. M for mat. Mat is used to sit on the floor. M for mat. M for mat. Mat. M for man. M for mango. M for monkey. M for moon. Chart reading of letter N. N for nest. Nest built by the birds for the protection of their eggs. N for nurse. Nurses present in the hospital to take care of their patients. N for net. N for net. N for nib. N for nib. N and N for nose. N for nose. We smell with our nose. What is this children? Nose. N for nose. Again. Nose. N for nest. N for nurse. N for net. N for nib. Let's do the chart reading of letter O. O for Owl. Owl is a bird and it also has a very big big eyes. See, owl has a big eyes. O is for owl. O for onion. Do you know children? What is onion? Onion is a vegetable. O for O for orange. Orange is a fruit which is orange in color. See, it is orange in color now. O for orange. Orange. O for ox. O for ox. Ox. O for owl. O for onion, O for orange, O for ox and one more O for what is this? Octopus. Octopus lives in water in big big ocean. O for octopus, O for octopus, O for octopus. Reading of letter P. P for Peacock. Peacock. What is this? Octopus. 
octopus lives in water in big big ocean o for octopus o for octopus o for octopus after reading of letter p p for peacock peacock is a bird and peacock feathers are very beautiful see it's beautiful now p for peacock for parrot parrot is a bird and green in color p for parrot p for pineapple pineapple is a fruit p for pineapple p for pineapple pineapple P for peas. Peas is peas are green in color. P for peas. P for pan. Pan is used for cooking. P for pan. P for pan. P for peacock, P for parrot, P for pineapple, P for peas. Now let's learn the rhyme. Rain, 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 go away. Come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play. Rain, rain, go to Spain. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day Little Johnny wants to play Rain, rain, go to Spain Now let's practice the rhyme with action Just watch the video and learn the action with rhyme Good morning children. Hello everybody. Today again I have come to teach you a new rhyme. This is rain rain go away. Nowadays you are saying rain. This is the rainy season. Droplets of water are coming from the sky. You enjoy drenching in the rain. You use umbrella, rain coats. Is it? So shall we start with the rhyme? This is a, this boy's name is John. He wants to play in the play outside with the ball. He wants to catch the ball, he wants to throw the ball and play. If rain comes, he can't play. So he is telling rain, please don't come today, I want to play outside. Okay, shall we start? First I will say, then you repeat after me. Rain, rain, go away, come again, another day. Little John wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Don't show your face again. Again I repeat. Rain, rain, go away. Come again, another day, little John wants to play, rain, rain, go away, don't show your face again, thank you. How are you all? Today we are going to learn about birds. I hope you have seen many birds flying in the sky. Do you know their names? No? 
Okay, now today we are going to learn about some of the names of the birds. What is this? This is a sparrow. This is a sparrow. S for sparrow. S for sparrow. A sparrow eats very tiny food grains. What is this? This is a parrot. This is a parrot. P for parrot. P for parrot. Parrot is green in color. And it likes to eat chilies and fruits. What is this? This is a duck. This is a duck. D for duck. D for duck. A duck swims in the water and eats fish and frog. What is this? This is a crow. This is a crow. C for crow. C for crow. A crow is black in color. What is this? This is a peacock. This is a peacock. P for peacock. P for peacock. A peacock is national bird of India. It is very beautiful. What is this? This is an eagle. This is an eagle. E for eagle. This is an eagle. An eagle flies very high in the sky. Okay children, learn to identify the birds. This is sparrow. This is parrot. This is a duck. This is a crow. This is a peacock. This is an eagle. Thank you children. Good morning children. Let's revise once again. Days of the week. Have you learnt days of the week? Yes. So let's learn once again. How many days are there in a week? You should answer like this. There are 7 days in a week. There are 7 days in a in a week they are sunday s u n d a y monday m o n d a y tuesday t u e s t a y tuesday next is wednesday w e d n e s d a y wednesday thursday next is thursday Friday, F R I D A Y. Friday. Then Saturday, S A T U R D A Y. Saturday. How many days? Seven days. First is starting with Sunday. S U N D A Y. Sunday. Next is Oh Monday, M O N D A Y. Monday, Tuesday, T U E S T A Y, Tuesday, Wednesday, W E D N E S T A Y, Wednesday, Thursday, T H U R S T A Y, Thursday. Friday F R I D A Y Friday Saturday S A T U R D A Y Saturday Now children it's a quiz time Are you ready for the quiz time Let's see who will win this quiz Okay so your first question is what comes after Tuesday? 
day after Tuesday. Option is Monday, Friday, Wednesday or Sunday. Tell me what comes after Tuesday? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. Next question. Okay. Now tell me what comes before Friday? Your option is Saturday, Thursday, Monday or Wednesday. Tell me children, what comes before Friday? Saturday, Thursday, Monday or Wednesday? It's Thursday, right? Now, next question. What comes after Monday? Come on, tell me. Just remind days of the week. What comes after Monday? Your option is Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Thursday. It's Tuesday. Yes, children. The right answer is Tuesday. What comes after Monday? It's Tuesday. Next question is Sunday, then dash and then Tuesday. So what comes after Sunday? Your option is Friday, Monday, Saturday or Wednesday. Come on children, tell me what comes after Sunday? Sunday, 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 then Monday. Yes, you're right. Monday. Very good children. Now next question is how many days are there in a week? Yes, it's very easy. Your option is 10 days, 8 days, 7 days, 6 days. How many days are there in a week? It's... Come on, tell me, 7 days. Yes, children, very good. You did very well. Now, moving to the next question. Day after Sunday is, oh, again it's very easy. After Sunday, what comes after Sunday? Your option is Friday, Wednesday, Saturday or Monday. Are you ready? It's Monday. What is the answer? It's Monday, yes. Now, Friday, dash and Sunday. What's com what comes between this? After Friday or before Sunday, which day will come? Your option is Tuesday, Monday, Saturday or Thursday. Come on children. It's Saturday. Yes children, very good. It's the right answer is Saturday. Friday, Saturday, then Sunday. Now your next question. How many days in a week start with letter T? Hmm, think, 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 think. Count. Your option is 1, 4, 3 or 2. How many days are there in a week? Start with letter T. It's 2. Yes, it's 2. Tuesday and Thursday. Start with letter T. Tuesday and Thursday. So answer is 2. Next question, how many days in a week start with letter S? Hmm, think again. Your option is 1, 3, 2 and 7. Hmm, think, 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 letter S. Yes, I think you're right. It's 2, 2, Saturday or Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. It's Saturday and Sunday. Start with S. Yes. Now moving to the next question children. Today is Saturday. So yesterday was. Today is Saturday. So yesterday was. Option is Friday. Sunday. Tuesday and Monday. Which one is correct? Hmm, I give you the clue. Now tell me which one is correct? Friday, Saturday, Tuesday or Monday? Yes, it's Friday. The correct answer is 
Friday. Very good children. Now you revise it very well. Thank you.